First Electric Cooperative is a non-profit rural electric utility cooperative headquartered in Jacksonville, Arkansas. The cooperative was organized April 26, 1937, as the first electric cooperative in Arkansas under the Federal Rural Electrification Act of 1935. The cooperative energized its first lines April 15, 1938, near Jacksonville with three employees and 150 members. First Electric now serves portions of 17 counties in the state of Arkansas, in central and southeast Arkansas. As well as its Jacksonville headquarters and district office, it has district offices in Benton, Heber Springs, Perryville, and Stuttgart. The Benton office serves portions of Garland, Grant, Southern Pulaski, and Saline counties. The Heber Springs office serves portions of Cleburne, Independence, Stone, and White counties. The Jacksonville District Office serves portions of Faulkner, Lawn Oak, Prairie, Northern Pulaski, and White Counties. The Perryville Office serves portions of Conway, Perry, Western Pulaski, and Yale Counties. The Stuttgart Office serves portions of Arkansas, Jefferson, Lawn Oak, Monroe, and Prairie Counties. As of March 2014, the cooperative had more than 9,600 miles of distribution lines, 43 substations, and services more than 88,000 member accounts. It is Arkansas' second largest rural electric cooperative, and one of the 30 largest of the United States' 900 electric cooperatives. First Electric is a member of the Arkansas Electric Cooperative Corporation, an electrical generation and distribution cooperative headquartered in Little Rock, Arkansas. AECC sells wholesale energy to First Electric and 16 other member cooperatives in Arkansas. First Electric is one of more than 900 members of the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association. NRECA is the national service organization for more than 900 not-for-profit rural electric cooperatives and public power districts. First Electric states that it supports fuel diversity, including power generation through a mix of energy resources including renewable energy, nuclear power, natural gas, and clean coal. The utility says a balanced approach to power generation will help ensure affordable, reliable sources of power.